tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make traditional Arabic wax for hair removal using a few simple ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. Now before we get started, I want to explain a few simple differences between sugaring wax or Arabic wax and regular wax. With Arabic wax or sugaring, you want to actually exfoliate your skin ahead of time to remove any dead skin cells or bacteria. You want to remove the dead skin because this is going to help your wax stick to the hair and help it come out easier and you also don't want any bacteria on your skin that could cause an infection. You also are not going to apply this the same way you do regular wax. Regular wax is applied in the same direction as hair growth, usually this way on an arm, and then ripped off in the opposite direction of hair growth. And sugaring is the exact opposite. You apply it in the opposite direction of hair growth and rip it out in the direction of hair growth because this prevents ingrown hairs. When you're ripping out the hair in the direction it grows, it's less likely to break under the surface or get bunched up or twisted or rotated in a direction that it doesn't usually grow. And this way you avoid the hair coming in underneath the skin and causing an ingrown hair. So those are the main differences. There are a few things that I'll go over in this video in case you run into problems and hopefully I can answer all of your questions in this video. If not, ask the questions in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this on my channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. To make this, you'll need regular white granulated sugar, lemon juice, salt, a pot that's bigger than you think you'll need, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, a wooden spoon, and a metal spoon. You'll also need a large bowl and a smaller bowl or dish that fits inside of it. Begin by filling your large bowl with cool water. I like to add ice cubes to mine to help the mixture cool down more quickly. Place your smaller bowl or dish inside the large bowl so that the bottom of it touches the liquid. Then put a small amount of water into the bottom of your bowl and coat it evenly. In your pot, combine one cup of sugar, I recommend white sugar only because I don't know how other sugars behave, two tablespoons of lemon juice, you can use fresh or from the bottle, and if you don't have lemon you can use lime or some other citrus fruit, you can also use vinegar but it smells bad. One teaspoon of salt, I'm using kosher salt, and two tablespoons of water. Set your stove to about medium-high heat or whatever temperature you need to bring it to a boil. Then stir your mixture continuously for about 5-7 to seven minutes or until it gets to the right color. You really have to stand there the entire time and stir it, make sure it doesn't foam up and boil over. If it begins to rise too much, lower the temperature and make sure that it doesn't get burned. It's going to gradually change color and after 5-7 to seven minutes it will have this lovely golden yellow color. When you lift up the liquid you'll see the color underneath is the color of honey and at this point you want to be very careful not to burn it. If it starts to smoke at all, remove it from the heat. And then pour it into your Pyrex dish. I recommend Pyrex only, not glass, because it can shatter. And I'm familiar with this Pyrex bowl and have done this many times, but if you've never done this before, I recommend setting it on the stove top, pouring the mixture in, and then transferring it to your cool bowl. Then play with the mixture continuously, scraping the edges into the center. It may take a while to cool down. I think mine took about 7 minutes to cool down to the point where I could touch it. But be very careful not to stick your finger into it too soon because it can be very hot and burn you very easily. Once it starts to gum up and get a little bit firm, test the temperature. Then wet both of your hands and scoop up that ball of sugaring wax. This is probably the hardest part for me, but eventually you'll get it out of the bowl. Anytime the ball starts to stick to your hands, you'll need to wet your hands a little bit, so keep that bowl of water close by. Then you'll need to knead and pull the sugaring wax until it starts to change color. This took me about 4 minutes of continuously pulling and kneading it, and you'll want to make sure that it actually becomes completely opaque. Once it becomes opaque, it will have this lovely golden color, and it won't be quite as sticky. It will be much easier to work with once the texture changes. You won't need to use all of it, so pinch off a small piece and put the rest into a small container. I just use a plastic bag, but you can use any container that you can pop in the microwave. You want to heat it up for about 10 seconds when you need to use it again, and then pinch off a small piece. Mine will keep for over 3 months, but I generally use it up before it's in there for that long. To use your wax, press it into your skin in the opposite direction of hair growth, and then pull it off in the same direction as hair growth. 
Again, this method is different from regular types of wax, and we pull the hair out in the same direction it grows to make sure that it doesn't get twisted up in the follicle under the skin, and this helps prevent ingrown hairs. I do know that I am a bit of a hairless freak, but hopefully you can see my blonde body hair enough to show you how well this wax works. I absolutely love this method, and if you have any wax left on the skin, you can just dab it with the ball of wax and it will come right off. It doesn't really stick, it doesn't hurt as much as regular waxing, and you can use this everywhere on your body. If you do decide to do a Brazilian with this, I recommend you work in very small areas. Be careful not to burn yourself and pull your skin very taut to prevent bruising. After a little while using your wax, it may heat up from your body heat and begin to stick to your skin a bit more. At this point, it's difficult to use, so I recommend rolling it between your palms into a little ball and then setting it aside to cool down for a few minutes until it returns to a usable consistency. To clean up when you're all done, I recommend putting your utensils, pot, and bowl underneath some cold water and letting it soak for about 15 minutes. This will save you a whole lot of time scrubbing and will simply dissolve the sugar so you can just wash it out like you would any other regular pot and bowl. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for other fun DIY projects.